Yes, I am. Uh, sir, we will start in uh, five minutes as students join. Uh, Mr. Rushikesh will introduce okay. yourself. Then you will mm -hmm. start the lecture, sir. Okay. Right. So we'll start by seven five twenty. That means. Mr. Rushikesh, please intro introduce our expert to our okay, students. Okay. Then the sir will start the lecture. Sir, should I start start now? Please. Okay. Yes. Good evening, one and all. Yes, yes. I am Rushikesh Shukla of DMCE. Today we have between us Mr. Raj Gopal, who has pursued B.Tech in Industrial Engineering and is a Lean Six Sigma Master Belt. He has a specialization in Total Quality Management, Data Analysis for Research and Publication from IIT Roorkee. Also, he is having a 25 years of experience in Indian Air Force, United Nations, MSME, Quality Management Systems, etc. He has been the founder and director of OTFAS. He has trained more than 1000 green belts and has provided guidance in Six Sigma quality management projects, nearly saving hundreds of crores. He has given training of Six Sigma black belt trainings for 17 officers of Indian Air Force at the training command Bangalore. He has also given his esteemed service in 5S and lean manufacturing at Syntex Nalagra plant with space saving of 40% and improvement of 15%. Mr. Raj Gopal has also been empaneled for lean manufacturing and Six Sigma strategies from NPCO, Quality Council of India, QCI in the field of lean manufacturing scheme, LMCS by MSME Government of India. I would lastly conclude expressing my gratitude to him for giving all of the, the, here his valuable time out of his busy schedule, pouring out immense knowledge and experience amongst all of us. Without any further ado, I am going off and I request sir to continue further. Thank you. Thank you, Rishigesh. Uh, shall I start or should I wait for another couple of minutes? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, we sir. We start. will start the lecture. Thank you very much, Rishikesh, Himanshu. So let us start. So my introduction already been given. So I would just like to add a few more lines. I'm a quality judge for uh, Confederation of Indian Industries, CII, as well as companies like Madrasan Sumi, Vigard, Mahindra and Mahindra, etc. So I have evaluated more than uh, thousands of projects. Uh, from companies like uh, Maridi, Honda, uh, this uh, Mother Sansume, Vigard, Mahindra, etc. So these are all uh, Six Sigma projects, QC projects, etc. So uh, the, I would like to add these points. Okay, now uh, we'll start. <clears throat> so before starting uh, this program, uh, let us understand uh, why Six Sigma why Six Sigma has such a demand in industries, let it be any industries. So uh, any organization has two big challenges that they have to balance with. One is maintain, and the other one is transform. So maintain means it's all about maintaining your current business operations. For example, sales, if you are in a sales team, then uh, maintaining the sales. Then uh, production, quality, etc. Everything maintained. And now, every people in organization, almost 99% percent, uh, percentage of people in any organization. So 99% percentage of uh, in any organization, they are involved in this maintain activities. So maintain, in other words, we can say operations. Day to day operations, let's call it as operations, day to day operations. And then they have also have another function called transform. So transform means very simple today, your organization is here. Where do you want to be in 10 years? 
just by doing the operations only you cannot reach to next level and you have many many examples of this company which the company that feels that you know complacency that we are perfect we have any companies especially 2007 mobile manufacturer in 2009 2006 the biggest mobile manufacturer in another one year became a dead rat and uh, iphone came they have not transformed themselves you know and many 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 organizations before 2000 and almost all such things was disrupted by steve jobs in 2000 and one day the sony walkman became dead rat with the uh, ipod i think it's ipod yes news to that uh, steve jobs mentioned in 2007 with the iphone so uh, and then those who have transformed it on time to time transformation who did they are still surviving now they are still sustaining not surviving i'll call it the maintenance activities if you are doing your operations you will survive if you are doing maintain activity operations activity you will survive but if you are doing just just give me a second give me a second so it is about maintenance is all about operations and uh, if you are maintaining you can survive so if you are maintaining today you will survive today and what about transform transforming is all about projects now it is for to sustain if you are not transforming if you are not doing projects then in another a decade less than a decade the company is going to be not existing anymore that is true with the history now what does six sigma have to do with this now you must have heard about project management project management isn't it and six sigma is also a kind of project management now we'll understand now now same thing goes to every individual if you are going to an op uh, to see you all are students now you may go for a uh, job you join some company pharmaceutical company it company whichever company you join and what you are going to learn is you will learn how to do this maintain activities they are not going to teach you the transform activities no first they will teach you this maintain activities and then based on your uh, skill and all slowly slowly they will teach you many other things but this transform activities here you have to get the skills and today you are doing this because of only one reason very simple you know today you are here and you want in another decade you want or 5 6 years you want here just by doing a maintain activity operations of business will not take you to here you need to add your skills add skills get certified get certified certified means it's not just training completed no please get certified means that get certified by, by a third party organization so independent third party organization like so add your skills add your you know what do you say uh, certificates and skills then people will know that you are you are fit for this so so then you will be considered first two people are applying for the same job if one person is six sigma black belt certified green belt certified he is going to be selected for sure he is going to be considered than the other person why because everybody can do this 99% people are there into doing this <coughs> there are lot of lot of people in market who can do the maintenance activity but only very few can do the transform activities it's all about projects so let us first understand what is a project is it okay so far yes somebody can yes sir no you understand the concept okay now now let's go to the next project now what is project 
Now, before that, let me tell you one thing. This is a common scenario with every organization. Not every organization, progressive organization or a good or progressive organization. Now, in any progressive organization, the lowest of the, uh, all hierarchy, they are all uh, workers, or we call that uh, shop floor people or the associates. Uh, you know, better word is associates. So they are there in the, in the shop, uh, factory or any any company. Now they are they are doing ninety nine percent of the time they are doing this maintenance activities or we call operations. They are into operations only. Now, when you go to the supervisor level, now this should be the ratio. I mean, supervisor be involved at least 60% in operation activities, but 40%. A supervisor should be doing new things, improvement things, Kaizen, Six Sigma, quality circle, lean activities, such kind of activities should have been doing. But sadly, even in all companies, even this person also is 99% in into operations. They don't get time to do improvements. This is the ideal thing. And when you go to the middle manager, middle management, at least 60% of the time, they should be improvement means project. I am talking about projects. This is operations. At least 60% of the time, people should be in the operations. And only 40% of the time, you should be involved in the operations. 60% should be in the projects. Improvement projects, transforming activity, and the top management, 99% of his time. I need mean to say this time, okay? Their time. If you are, if they are working eight hour shift, 99% of the time, a top management should be doing projects improvements only, not involving any of the operations. Only one percent of the time he can involve in operations activities, but 99% of the time he should be thinking something new. Now, this is what people are looking for, companies. That is why I said, now this should be the ideal. Now, who will train this? Now, you who will get trained yourself. Sometimes companies also get you trained, but their chances are very, very less. They know people have to train, get, uh, get themselves skilled. So it is not company's job, it is your individual's job. So I congratulate each and every person who has attended, I was attending this, because you have taken that step towards transformation. And let me advise you, do not stop here. You keep on adding things, keep on learning things, multiple things, because when you learn a lot of things, company know you are a multi-skill person, multi-skill. A multi-skill person is preferred always. You should use in your profile, I'm multi-skill. You are a Six Sigma also, PMP also, all these things. You should go for all things, internal quality auditor, quality related, because quality is all about quality. Everybody wants get quality related certificate. And keep on adding your skills. You let it be in any, any, um, any, any function. You may, most of the time, you will be in the operations. Since you are engineers, most of the time, you will be joining engineering. I mean, so you will be part of the engineering operations. So keep adding your skills. Because this is what companies are looking at in another 10 years, purely because we are competing with the global forces. The environment has set in Indian industries. The things are going to be changed in another decade. Because that is the level of that is the level of you know environment created by the last five, six years. A lot of uh, atmosphere for coming into mega factories, giga factories, etc. So everybody will be looking for such skills. There are a lot of opportunities and you keep adding your, I always tell someone, and never two, three things I want to tell you. Whenever you join a company, don't be, you know, thinking long-term working in the same company, never. Keep changing. Three, four years, you keep changing. Add your skills, add your promotions, add your, you know, increments. That, that must be done. Do not you know the stay in one place, then you'll be, you have to transform. So transform is always like this. Jump, 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 jump. It's not, you know, the staying one place is not going to be, you know, uh, uh, nothing adding no value to you. So you have to change your skills, get the experience, and then go to the next and keep learning and keep the menu uh, adding your certificates. Okay. Now, let's come to the two things. It's very, very important. This you should know. 
projects because everything is project this is day to day activity but you by day learning sigma you will be involved in projects you will be assigned in projects you have extra and you will be paid for that people will be you will be selected for that you will be recognized for that here you won't get much recognition recognition because everybody is there here you get lot lot, lot of recognition so what is project let's understand project project is a temporary what are the five features of project project is temporary that means it has a start and end date project is unique you want to develop something new you do it and project closes after attaining the objectives example for example a prototyping of new car model now operations operations is ongoing it is repetitive objective is to sustain the business and example of like assembly line products once you make a new car you hand over it to operations etc so a project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product service or result please understand a unique product service or result it can be product it can be service or it can be a result result now what is the result here comes a six sigma six sigma projects let's understand more okay now let's take an example at point a you started let's say uh, for example um, you are going to in a pharmaceutical company for example a pharmaceutical company their r and d at from a to b they have uh, developed a new formula for example new formula new medicine new vaccine whatever it may be from a to b now this is very clear its project a unique endeavor making a new formula new uh, new vaccine whatever it may be it has taken from a to b let's say this a to b this some time maybe 6 months maybe three months or it may be even nine months also we don't know it can happen so the project duration is a to b it may be six months three months nine months whatever it may be now from a to b once it has subject i uh, now you know and say the adjectives a new vaccine has been developed now it is stopped the project is complete now project complete now now from this point this was handed over to the operations production people now the uh, during the design the, the designing everything production parameter process control everything is being designed and then handed over to operations so from b onwards the operation starts repetitive regular the vaccine production is produced at this point let's see c and d at this point there were a lot of customer complaints from people now that's not effective something like that etc a small study is conducted a small improvement is done this was a big one now based on the feedback you did a small improvement in the formula maybe a small changes in the ingredients now this is a, again a project now this is called a new new product development npd now this is an improvement project now this kind of project can happen maybe uh, once in you know maybe even in two years or maybe three years not all automobile company develop new products now once uh, kia has come out with a carens now they may be doing some uh, another major npd now after two years maybe so this kind of projects happen one time and that too in a once in two years etc but these kind of small improvement projects can happen can happen repeatedly now this is an improvement there may be another improvement maybe another improvement you know this operation is going on but in between we are taking some projects now six sigma projects now six sigma projects can be here also these kind of projects can be improvement projects can be called six sigma projects it can be a qc project also it can be a kaisen project also kaisen is very small qc is second but six sigma is about bigger scope project more data intensive doe etc anova all statistical tools are used in six sigma 
here here also six sigma can be used this project also but this is more of a project management concept hope you understood this slide how do i come to know somebody can speak yes hello yes sir. yes okay shall i proceed yes sir okay. yes, sir what is that npd new product development new okay, product sir. development and sir what are the examples of six sigma project that you gave earlier including qc pardon uh, what are the examples that you gave earlier uh, for the six sigma projects improvement projects you have not come to the example now let us understand the introduction okay and this is all introduction part then we will come okay sir please yes, sir. again explain this diagram hmm pardon sir please again explain this diagram let's take a car exam now let's take a, a new what is what has come is a new car has new vehicle has come kia carens for example so kia carens has been uh, now launched in the market but do you know before launching this they must have done a product product development of this product isn't it a project they must have taken some nine months new product development npd so this nine months they must be doing this project a new product new car once everything is designed all the design everything is in design then they will hand over it to the operations from a to b it was project from a to b it was project and then after b they have added over to the operation department so from b onwards production start now this in the market people start booking so kia garants production has start isn't it now this is called operations so before starting production you should develop the design develop design that product now it is in the com comfortable to you all of you Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, if you want to produce it first, you have to design it first, or not? So, first, new product will be developed, and then after that, it will be production. So, production is what we call operations. So, new product development, 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 ऑपरेशंस में दे दिया प्रोडक्शन में दे दिया आफ्टर प्रोडक्शन नाउ इट इज स्टार्टिंग नाउ दिस इज रिपीटेटिव कंटीन्यूअस सो फ्रॉम ए टू बी इट वाज अ प्रोजेक्ट उसके बाद सपोज लेट्स टेक सी टू सी एंड डी नाउ द सी एंड डी व्हाट हैपेंस वंस इट हैज कम टू मार्केट सपोज लेट अस इमेजिन दैट देयर इज अ कंटीन्यूअस कस्टमर कंप्लेंट अबाउट ए फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम जस्ट सेइंग इट्स आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट अ रियल थिंग जस्ट एन असेंशन सपोज Uh, we have a uh, uh, vehicle motor problem. Suppose there is a constant complaint with vehicle. For example, so what they will do? They will assign this. This is a problem, isn't it? This is a problem. Now this problem they will assign to a team to solve. So from C to D, while the operations are going on, while this productions are continuously going on, one team will. Uh, study about this why this has happened then they will see what is the problem and all so then they will solve this problem is problem ko solve kare aur kuch naya modification usme dal karke wo solve karte hai to ye jo project hai ye bhi to project hai c to d b se operation to start ho gaya lekin company ne beech beech mein kuch other alag project bhi leta hai isi tarah kai sare project ho sakte hai chote chote projects to six sigma is one such way of Solving these issues, a six sigma team को कम से कम चार such projects करने होते हैं। In a company, if it is a six sigma uh, implemented company, so four five projects a team will do such kind of improvement projects, cost saving, problem solving projects. So इसको example करना था मैं। Okay, now I am coming to the six sigma again. 
So before going to six sigma, I was just giving what are the examples of project. Now let's understand why organization do project. <laughs> Maybe because of new technology. Yes. Uh, sir, sorry for the interruption. Uh, sir, in the previous diagram, you took the example of Kia Karens. Uh, so what if like in between like say suppose uh, say suppose uh, five or six months down the line say suppose an electrified version or a facelift version of Kia Karens comes out. So will it be classified as an improvement project or will it be classified as a new uh, NPD? Facelift is classified an improvement, not an MP, um, NP. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. But again. It may take similar time of not this much time, but uh, more than this. It depends, but it doesn't matter whether how much time it is taking at all. Okay, but a project is project. Project means unique. Then uh, uh, it has a start and end date. It has certain objective. After attaining the objective, the project closes. So, what are the why organizations do projects? It may be because of new technology, competitive forces. Somebody is like uh, iPhone came, then Samsung also has to change. Material issues, political change. Now RBI has come up with new guidelines that uh, uh, no, you cannot. Uh, the credit cards uh, companies cannot charge uh, credit cards, you know, without uh, uh, the consent of the. Earlier it was auto debiting, right? That cannot happen now. So Facebook and Google do did a project and they have taken it as a project and they have changed them, you know. Um, uh, Payment uh, structure, and it can be mass market demand, market demand, economic changes. Now, in this new technology, you can think about gigafactories, where uh, uh, EV batteries have been produced. Gigafactories, uh, economic change. Now, uh, uh, the government has come out with the PLI production link uh, schemes. Now, many people have taken this. Tata, Marbi, uh, Honda, everyone, Honda, everyone, I uh, applied for this. PLI, production link. This is by government of India. Now, economic change. And then everybody has applied. Now they will do accordingly. So, uh, many, many, many reasons of doing projects. Stakeholder demand, market demand. And then we have process improvements also. So, process improvement also is a big area where you need a lot of now. All these things can happen. This may take this may take uh, time. Like now, PLI has come. Now another policy may come after two years, maybe. But this process improvement is a big area where you need a special care, special team. Now here again, Six Sigma is focused in this kind of projects. So I was just telling about what is project, what is operation. Now what is Six Sigma project? Now let me tell you, Six Sigma, learning Six Sigma means learning Six Sigma projects. In yellow belt, we will not be doing any project. But in green and black, black especially black and master black belt, there must be a project. So process improvement, it's all about uh, project learning, how to do projects, etc. And this is the place where Six Sigma is uh, applied. Okay, now let us conceptualize Six Sigma. For example, let's take, uh, you know, now what is going on from you know, Russia and Ukraine. Uh, so uh, just an example, if somebody wants uh, to select, suppose this is a, a commander, this commander wants to select some uh, new, new people, recruit in the new people, and they just wanted to know, uh, you know, who is uh, some sharpshooter right there. So naturally, when he wants to select someone, uh, what he will do, he will direct, the, you know, uh, naturally he has to conduct a, a test. Now suppose uh, let's come and let's see this test A B C D now four people A B and C and D. Now tell me who is the best shooter here? D D D D best shooter no best shooter undoubtedly best shooter. Now what about A? Now suppose this blue is the target. No, you have to hit the target within blue line. Okay. Suppose let's say blue is a target, blue line is an you have a bullet should be inside of it. So tell me is A is accepted or not? Sir, A is shooting and accurate but not precise. A is shooting accurate? 
accurate but not, not precise now what about b then sir b is accuracy uh, b is accuracy and precision are a little bit better than a okay sir uh, not comparing say, the precision yeah some other not... some other point about a and b can you tell us in the accuracy and precision for a not comparing sir, the precision actually a is not even accurate and not precise as well yes sir exactly very good so it's neither accurate nor precise now what do you what about b with so b is accurate, accurate but sir, not b is precise. accurate b is accurate but not precise it's accurate but not precise but not precise good then what about c he is precise he is precise but not accurate very good not accurate and b is both so it's clear and precise now tell me one person is selected now the commander wants to select one more person so whom will he select uh, sir so b, sir b. b he should go for b at least uh, precision we can increase but if someone is not accurate at all then we'll have to make much more efforts okay anybody else with other views C can no, even C is a better candidate. No, we should be as equal per preferences because accuracy and precision can be both uh, can be can both be improved. Okay. So it so, will depend. It will depend. So you are you are confused with whether B or C. No, I just wanted to one more person. That's all. You cannot consider B and C both. You have to consider only one. So somebody say B, somebody uh, says C. C. So let me tell you, I will select C. because precision is more difficult to achieve now tell me can there be a gunner or also here maybe he is targeting here but it's going here if you see he has it at the it's the same place that means he may be aiming here but it's going here so it is cluttered precise accuracy less variation it is more precise a precise means accuracy means ability to hit the target closeness to the target closeness to the target or we can say hitting the target target now b has achieved the target isn't it but not precise why one is here one is here he is not able to repeat the result repeat we cannot able to repeat but what about here this person is able to repeat the result repeat is consistently giving the same result but somewhere shifted from the target so in your organization also not only your organization let's consider another example today i want to go from chandigarh to suppose mumbai so 9 o'clock is my flight for example and because of the covid restriction and said all i got a you no know, ticket in the ticket itself it is said is because of covid uh, protocols you have to be uh, two hours before uh, you know the take off uh, the uh, you know you should be um, uh, clearing the security checks for example so i will reach the airport by 7 o'clock and then 8 o'clock i got an announcement that this flight is delayed by Two hours. So nine nine o'clock. This cycle will work at eleven o'clock. Now is there any variation? This is called variation, isn't it? You are moving away from the target. The variation. So who is going to uh, you know affect the variation? Who is affected with the variation? The customer, isn't it? Now suppose. Uh, you have some specification of a product. Now, suppose that is, let's say uh, this is a company where you are working A, and this is your customer B. This is you, your company. You have joined some company, and uh, uh, you delivered. You promise the company B to the client. You promise the client that you will dispatch uh, by uh, today is twenty six. You will dispatch it by. 28 february this is your promise but you have not dispatched it even 5th march 
who is affected now what is this this is variation now same thing should be you now moving away from the target so this is called accuracy and precision now there is another word for variation variation now tell me from a b and c who has more variation sorry b sorry sorry a isn't it more variation and among b and c who has having more variation b sir b has more variation b so c b. has more variation b has more variation now tell me how precise precision and variation is related sir precision is basically repeatability of uh, one or more results over the period while well, this is just a relation what is the relation between precision and variation sir precision is the opposite of variation yes opposite so if you are precise you have less variation less variation and now this is the aim of six sigma this one this one less variation less variation and centered to the target now comparing to a and b c is less variation more precise less variation now every six sigma the objective of six sigma is to reduce the variation reduce variation reduce variation now you have so many things you can see like for example your specification moving away from the specification so if you if you draw a graph later we will learn very less not much in detail about the normal graph and all because you know when that's only less levels only you will uh, you know uh, uh, just learn it that's all so this is called a normal curve now this is uh, called uh, this is how a looks like and the b uh, let's say this is the target so uh, a this is upper specification limit this is lower specification limit now that this is crossed a will have, have more of defects now b the case of b is just a is in the target but in the case of c it's like this you know c is if you see the width of this it has huge variation less variation now reduce variation now d now if you see i have put the shape of this c and d say this process width this process width c and d is same now only difference between c and d is c is standard the d is standard so this is the best thing we are looking now this is not uh, no, not uh, accepted because a slight variation here and there it will close but here this is better now he, we need to bring it back to the center it may be we may have it may be gun error just check the gun zeroing of the gun maybe there is so we are looking for this so in the six sigma we are aiming to reduce the variation and center the process target so this is an example of shooter but it can be anything it can be your specification it can be the time of um, take off time it can be courier courier delivery it can be a product uh, whatever it may be or service service in the service industry it may be an sla service level agreement so anything but by our aim of objective is the best whatever specification customer specification now this is customer specification so this your customer specification and your process is at the standard with less variation that's the aim now this is unfortunately this is not happening all the time most of the companies it is like this or like this so from here bringing to here it's very difficult you need lot of effort so it's like this every company only few company would that does it is like tata they are always giving consistent results with less variation okay now let's just go to the 
uh, introduction uh, about the history, etc. So let's just understand. So the history of Six Sigma, not only Six Sigma, this is this is history of quality also. Six Sigma is an advanced quality strategy. Now, uh, we for understanding the quality um, in history, historical perspective, let us take it uh, the before 1700s. What was before 1700s? What was that era called? What is after 1700s? In the manufacturing industrial, uh, industrial, industrial era. revolution. Industrial revolution. So this was pre-industrial revolution before 1700s. What happened here? Here, the craftsman. It's for all craftsmen. A craftsman in a village. Now, what is the specialty? The same person is designing, same person is producing, and same person is selling, and same person is maintaining the quality. Everything one man. Design, production, selling, quality, finance, everything one man, craftsman. So here the specialty was, if you talk in, in the sense of manufacturing, high quality, it was high quality, no doubt, because face to face relation between the customer and seller. Then high quality, but at the same time, high variety. Because one person will give us one kind of wine, one kind of specification. So suppose a furniture. Somebody wants a big furniture, and somebody wants a small furniture, and that too one or two. High variety, low volume. See the specialty of manufacturing. High quality, high variety, low volume. One batch, one or two items. And every batch differs from each other. That's a specialty. And then comes the industrial revolution. So this is craftsman uh, map. Uh, then comes the uh, industrial revolution. Now what happened? Industrial revolution. Initially it was steam powered engine. Then mass manufacturing took. Now industrial uh, industrialization and uh, industrial area set up. Now all this new economy. Now all these craftsmen started becoming factory workers there. So they started shifting. Once the mass manufacturing came, their economy shattered. Now here economy shifted to a new new thing. So people also started shifting. Urbanization happened. And mass manufacturing was there. Now what happened? The traditional face of you know, traditional you know, face to face interaction with customer got affected. Now the producer and customers are separated. They are not interested in the quality. They were only interested in production volume. Now here what happens, <coughs> it is low variety, very less variety, but high volume production. For example, there was an arrogant statement by Henry Ford during 1929. He said that a Model T car, the most famous Model T, car. Now Henry Ford used to say, you can get any, any color provided it is black. You can order for order any shape provided it is black. So there was only one black color car. That is why low variety, high volume. Now this area we also call it as industry 0. 0.0. Industry 0 can call it. And then next came this World War II. All the quality initiatives there happened in World War II. What happens by the time the power was through electric power motor, a lot of quality initiatives come. Now here people realize quality is a problem. Now first thing they started was UI, quality inspection. Then quality inspection means one inspectors have been put, and their job is to find out. Uh, to uh, productions people have to uh, job is to pull uh, push it somewhere to quality people, and quality people's job is to do the inspection and find that it was a cat and mouse game. Still, quality has not improved. Only thing, a few quality inspection, and people realize that this is bad, this is good, good and bad rejection, segregating. Then later they understood that quality inspection is not enough. 
and especially during the world war 2 can you do 100% inspection now russia and ukraine they are producing that bombers or uh, bullets etc if they want to do 100% inspection then they cannot use it in their war same thing happen 100% inspection here 100% inspection possible but here it is not possible now they want techniques where you want to take a lot and uh, take some samples from the lot and based on the lot's quality you product you know you predict about the batch now this is called quality controls now these are called sqc statistical quality control sqc and this is uh, the you know found by uh, walter shivat walter shivat walter shivat was the first person to start this sqc and then uh, quality control control charts etc control charts and this era let's call uh, industry 1.0 1.0 now walter shivat was the first person to start this quality control chart sqc etc now there was one disciple of him called uh, dr uh, deming edward de deming now what happened after world war 2 japan was totally shattered and before world war 2 also japan was famous for their bad quality products A famous Hindi song was there. I was supposed to have my Rajuta in Japan. It was actually showing the torn shoes of the, and it was a Japanese shoe, and he was showing the bad quality of that product. Now, 1945, Japan was shattered, and then they realized that if they want to come back to the economy, <coughs> they realized they have to, you know, focus on the quality. Now, what happened? Uh, USDA. USDA US Department of Agriculture now reviving of Japan also US has taken the leadership for that and then they started sending a lot of people to you know uh, uh, you know revive back Japan and uh, USDA US Department of Agriculture sent one Mr Dami Dr Dami to Japan actually deming was sent for studying the agriculture but deming was a disciple of uh, uh, shiva now deming understood the statistical quality control control charts etc now he started giving you know meeting industry lecture uh, industry leaders and there was one one person called koyanagi and he was founder of juice japanese union of scientists and engineers and then deming suggested them sqc techniques to them and then juice introduced deming to in the uh, you know japan industries and deming said that if you follow my principles japan can become world leaders in just 5 years and later deming said i was wrong japan actually sir your slide is sir your slide is not visible यार अभी तक मैं ऐसे कर रहा था इससे तो एवरीवन नो सर इट इज विजिबल इट इज इट इज विजिबल सर यस सर इट इज विजिबल सो इट्स अ स्पोरेडिक कॉज फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर वन पर्सन दैट हु हैज दैट प्रॉब्लम सो वी विल लर्न दैट व्हाट इज द स्पोरेडिक कॉज इन कंट्रोल चार्ट ओके एंड इफ एवरी ओके सो शैल आई कंटिन्यू यस सर Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Deming said, "I was wrong. Japan actually became global leaders in just four years." And later, Japan also respected them, giving an award called Deming Award. Now, Deming Award is an equivalent status of Nobel Prize in quality because there is no Nobel Prize in quality. That means any prize, Nobel Prize is now number one prize, isn't it? Similarly. the number one prize in quality is deming award so around i think almost 1997 or somewhere uh, japan kept its for japanese industries only and after that it was open to worldwide this deming award and you know who was the first to win that deming award non japanese company any idea so he must be eh and we must be proud that it's an indian company tvs the first ever deming award other than a japanese company was received by tvs so it is 
such a price in such a quality is that much as the criteria has to be met so this is all about japan and in another 20 30 years japan actually actually bombarded with their products in us and us economy was shattered and then later 1980s to somewhere 2010 us also started taking initiative they realized that quality is a competitive advantage before that nobody realized that quality was a competitive advantage then japanese made the made the, the, in the world believe that quality is a competitive advantage then everybody started taking now lot of lot of tv serial came about this deming and there was one more person called juran now deming and juran now after 30 years they became national heroes in america and then lot of series of things came that the man who taught japanese quality likewise so these were the two people who actually taught japanese quality and then 1980s then started initiating so many other things and now during 1980s and you know, the, the, there was an award in usa called malcolm baldridge award malcolm baldridge was the commerce secretary of us then time malcolm baldridge and then the, this person also took a lot of initiative for the quality and then later the award was um, you know kept for in his name malcolm baldridge award and during that time, a lot of other initiatives like ISO 9001 series started in 1987. Uh, 1987 ISO 9000 series came. 1990s lean, lean uh, management came in Toyota. Uh, and Six Sigma also came during somewhere in 1987. Uh, uh, and continual improvement. And all this era, we call it as Industry 3.0. Now, here, this place, Six Sigma, actually evolved in Motorola. Now, Malcolm Baldridge Award was, everybody was competing for Malcolm Baldridge Award. And Motorola won this because of uh, Six Sigma strategy. And there was a you know, reliability engineer called Bill Smith. And Bill Smith was a real person, person who actually got credit the point uh, name uh, called uh, Six Sigma. And uh, 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 Motorola actually won this Malcolm Baldridge Award and they saved billions of dollars. Billions of dollars were saved. Then what happened? G, Jack Welch. Jack Welch understood the capacity of this you know, Six Sigma. Then G started implementing Six Sigma in his company. Even today, Getting a job in Six Sigma means even if you want to enter the gate of GE, you should have Six Sigma certificate, minimum yellow belt certificate. Otherwise, you will not enter you into that gate. That's the level G. And Jack Welch made this such a, a famous strategy, and then start, people started adopting Six Sigma. And even today, Six Sigma is the one of the improvement strategy, most improvement strategy, and uh, we call it as industry work and what is now today now we are in industry four now there is a big demand for six sigma professionals here why industrial for industry four is all about data analysis data analysis ai machine learning and ict accuracy etc efficiency all these things now here we have six sigma Six Sigma was here. Now Six Sigma has an approach called DMI, define, measure, analyze, improve, control. Now with AI, this part is going to be live now. Now what is left is analyze, improve, and control. Now the most of the time, DMI, define and measure takes time. We used to take a lot of time. Now this time is reduced. And now we need more people who can analyze, improve, and control. So that is why Six Sigma people are big demand here. Another 10 years, you will learn, learn about the I4, 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 industry 4.0. So here, Six Sigma people, without Six Sigma or data analyzed people, it's very difficult. What is the use? In industry 4 is a different concept. It's all about sensors. 
Now it's an engineering. Now industry four people, industry four can set up between two machines. It's all about uh, everything will have an IP. Everything will have an IP. Person will have IP. Machine will have IP. Everything is connected. Direct data collection, data speed. Now then, it makes the job of six sigma people very easy because data collection is live, and then analyze, improve, and control. Now we need to have a lot of people is required here. Six sigma people. In another ten years, and uh, yes, excuse me, sir. Are okay, yes. No. Uh, sir, can you please explain this demise criteria once again? Demise, I am coming back once again. And so yeah, we are coming to that only. Demise is what we are going to learn. This is an introduction. You should know before coming to the actual the actual concept. You should know the introduction. So far, it was introduction. Now, now I am. We are coming to that demise only. Okay. 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 Shall we proceed? Is it okay so far? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you heard about six sigma. Now, now if you want to explain six sigma, what is six sigma to someone? So six sigma can be understood in three different perspectives. Three perspectives. For all these three, we use term called six sigma. first thing is it is a measure of capability six sigma is a measure of capability now if you say my process is six sigma capable process that means there may be five sigma capable process also four sigma capable process also three sigma capable process also Two sigma capable process also, one sigma capable process. Also. Generally, companies operate in a three sigma capable. And from three sigma, aim is to reach to four sigma, five sigma, and six sigma. So it's a measure of capability. Now, what do you mean by measure of capability? A six sigma capable process will produce. Will run in ninety nine point nine 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 six six percent area. This is again defined by Motorola. Now, what is this accuracy? Tell me if what do you consider? Ninety-nine percent accuracy is good or not? It's good. It's good, isn't it? Yes, if you have a hundred hundred thing to produce, you will make how many defects? One. One defect. Now, what about if you are producing one million? How many defects will you produce in 99 percentage accuracy? Around one lakh defects will be produced. Any other figure? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Suppose a company, a uh, no, some EV company, producing electrical uh, scooters, they are running in 99 percent accuracy. Will you purchase them, their scooters? Because you may be one unlucky person who is getting a this defective item. Yes, sir. So, what about if we are accurate in ninety-nine point? Uh, suppose the same company is accurate in ninety-nine point six six percentage. In one million, how many defects will be produced? Around four forty to forty forty defects might be there. Sir, only four defects. Around four, four defects. defects. It's actually three point four defects, isn't it? Yes, sir. Three point four, and that is what is this. <coughs> If this is ninety nine point nine nine six six percent age, so defect is how much? So just three point four defects in a. Million opportunity. So these both are same. Either you are accurate, you are accurate at ninety nine point nine 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 six six percentage, or you are. This is accuracy. This is defects. This is right. This is wrong. This much right. So this much wrong. Ninety nine percent. How much you will produce? You will be ninety nine percent accurate, and ten thousand defects. 
isn't it so this is the accuracy so any any process is running in a six sigma capable if a six sigma capable will be producing 99.999636 percentage accurate and only 3.4 difference so a four sigma in four sigma you know how much it is going to be it is going to be 6210 difference So six sigma is a really difficult to achieve capability. That means in ten lakhs, in ten lakhs, you are going to produce only three point four difference. So that is capability. So it's a measure of capability. You can use six sigma as a measure of capability. What is the desired capability for a process? If you want to achieve to a level. If you want to reduce the errors, now you know how companies operate nowadays. It is just three and four sigma. All the companies operate in six sigma means almost three to four sigma. But uh, uh, automobile companies are operating in five five sigma most of the time. Their errors are going to be almost two hundred and ten in a million. So they are somewhere in five sigma level. Three sigma, three to uh, normal companies operate between three to four sigma capable. That means from six thousand two hundred and ten defects to sixty-six thousand defects in a million. Okay. That is one thing. Second thing is six sigma is also a problem-solving method. So if you ask someone, someone asks you what is six sigma, you can say six sigma is a measure of capability. A six sigma capable process will produce nine, no, we have an operate in ninety nine point nine 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 six six percentage accuracy. That is one thing. You can also say six sigma is a methodology. It's a methodology. Now what is this methodology? A problem solving methodology. Now there is another methodology, new product development methodology that is called DFSS, Design for Six Sigma. It can be used for designing something new. Also, it can be used for solving the problems in existing problems. So when you call it this device, it's called a problem solving method, and they are called the define. These are the steps: design, define, measure, improve, uh, analyze, define, measure, analyze, improve, control. So six sigma is a methodology, and third way of looking at six sigma is it's a set of tools <coughs> and a data-driven approach. So if you want to connect all these three, six sigma is a problem-solving methodology which uses tools and data to achieve the accuracy of three point four. So this is uh, the overall of six sigma. If you want to understand, this is everything. Whatever we are going to learn is this one. Now we are going to learn basics of data, what is data, types of data, etc. And we will some learn some basic uh, tools. And so this is here is the difference between the two, three: yellow belt, green belt, and black belt. Now yellow belt only concepts of all tools. No tools are practiced. You are not going to learn any tools in detail. Only concepts of the tools. Green belt we learn little more statistical tools. Black belt more of statistics, and uh, then uh, a leadership change agent. That's the difference between a change agent. So this is what organization is looking in you. Change agent. You be a change agent there. When you go to your organization, you identify the improvement and suggest to the top management this can be done, this can be done, this can be done, continuously moving and bringing others also into that habit. So organizations are looking for the changes. Where black belt is a change. Yes. Now this is all about six sigma definition of six sigma, etc. Any doubt so far? It's almost no, sir. Yeah. Sir, can you please explain again that I tried? Which one? I didn't understand. What, what is it about? 
sir can you please explain again data driven data driven okay data driven means uh, there are many strategies kaisa kaisa means an improvement strategy now kaisa is done by shop floor people it's a strategy improvement strategy shop floor people very minute minute improvement which uh, which do not require any data just they can do some improvement they know like making a picture and improving a step into a slope so many things are there so little 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 things which do not require any management decision but kaisen strategy is there people are authorized to do that decision they have to do hundreds of kaisen projects small projects in a month itself it can be done in one day one hour etc kaisen you see QC is also a small improvement project where uh, less data, three or four or three data are there. Error tolerance, cause and effect, that like that. Then we have Six Sigma. Now Six Sigma is done by the middle level managers, you know, because there are a lot of data collected, data analysis is there, statistical analysis is there. Decision making is done by statistical analysis, like a PhD. When you do Six Sigma black belt, you are not less than a PhD. Green belt is in between. In between. So data driven means a lot of data is collected and all your analysis is done with the help of data. Different types of data. Yes. Okay. Now let us see. Okay. Now this defined measure. So learning six sigma means we are learning this methodology. We are learning this uh, you know, tools, different tools, understanding the tools. Not much. We are not be practicing much. Uh, then define measure methodology, etc. This is what we do. And uh, so let us just understand the overall concept. What is done in define? What is done in measure? What is done? Analyze what is the true, what is the whole Now, in the first slide, I said that this is A to B project, and then uh, after that, operations continued, and then here you have a small project. Now, there was a problem, wiper motor problem in the new product. Now, this wiper motor product, now uh, people will be assigned to this. So, what will happen? Form a team. Identify a problem, then creating a problem statement, mission statement, determining the CPQ, CPOC, etc. All these things are part of defined phase, and then once it is done, it is called project charter. So, in the defined phase, the major role in defined phase is to identify the problem. Now, a company which is strategically implementing Six Sigma. They have a structure like this. They already have teams, and these teams uh, will continuously identify projects. In a year, they identify at least four or five projects, and every three four months, one project is completed, which saves millions of dollars. I have, you know, guided project saving for more than five hundred crores. That much project I have guided to for people. Now, one company I went to one of the tractor manufacturing company for implementing Six Sigma. They identified a uh, project to reduce the pain conception. That was two crore saving project. Just by doing that pain conception, reducing the pain conception, two crore saving annually. Now suppose this is done by one team. Now suppose if you have fifty such teams in an organization who is doing this project. Now, on an average, let's take two crores is not possible to get to all time, but at least a seventy-five lakhs project. So seventy-five, sir. If you if you have one crore project of fifty team, you will save easily say fifty crores. And for a five thousand crore company. Almost uh, ten percentage saving, and that is why Sigma professional got respect 
they are being selected a person who knows how to do a project how to lead a project how to select a project why don't company pay extra once you are saving for the company Two crores is saving a six sigma team is such uh, such five teams ten crores save in a year. So definitely, and these savings are approved by the cost department in big companies. Yes, cost department is there. Savings are there. They save it. They initiate the project and then save it. Try to save it. So. Once they once team is there, these teams are making means you know they do it in the this project is done by defined step, defined measure, analyze into that. So, first of all, team formation. So normally, one time six sigma implemented हो गया तो उनके पास already teams होंगे तो team का responsibility रहेगा फिर इसको problem को identify करना. अगर कोई नए company six sigma implement करना है suppose You have become a certified the six sigma option, and then you went to some company, and organization ask you to uh, to set up how to do this. So you are going to learn that. उस टाइम में क्या होगा? आपको एक फॉर्म टीम फॉर्म करना पड़ेगा. तो फिर उसके बाद आप एक प्रॉब्लम को आइडेंटिफाई करोगे. फिर उसको एक प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट. इसको सीखना है हमें प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट, मिशन स्टेटमेंट कैसे बनाना. This is also a a technique. How to make a problem statement and mission statement? We'll learn it. probably today then we will determine the cpqs we we'll learn what is cpqs epoch data so once a project chapter is done then there is an hierarchy in six sigma in organization now yellow belt green belt black belt master black belt then there is another person called champion project champion now he is a senior person now he is going to approve the project chapter he says okay no This is what to do because why? आप कोई भी प्रोजेक्ट प्रॉब्लम को आइडेंटिफाई करके because you are going to be engaged अब ना four five people five people मान लो एक टीम में पांच लोग हैं तो तीन चार महीने तो ये पांच लोग at least daily two hours उसके लिए spend करेंगे ना तो उस रिसोर्स को उसका टाइम देना है उसको मीटिंग के लिए टाइम देना है ये कौन देगा वो विल गिव टॉप मैनेजमेंट आस्ट बी यू कैन टेक दिस डिस तो टॉप मैनेजमेंट क्यों देगा एक तीन परसेंट देंगे आपको ओके टू आवर्स आप लोग इसमें लग जाना प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने के लिए तो वो क्यों देंगे क्यों क्यों अप्रूव करेंगे आपको बिकॉज तो वो देखेगा क्या ये प्रोजेक्ट सही है आप जो सिलेक्ट किया है तो ये प्रोजेक्ट सही है तो चलो इसको अप्रूव कर देते हैं तो प्रोजेक्ट चार्टर इज अप्रूवर प्रोसेस फॉर दैट वंस दिस प्रोजेक्ट चार्टर इज अप्रूव देन वी गो टू द फिर फेस में जाएंगे टीम विल गो इसमें प्रोसेस स्टडी को प्रोसेस चार्ट को स्टडी करते हैं ब्रेन स्ट्रमिंग करते हैं उसके बाद एनालाइज फेज में एनालाइज फेज में आपका सारे डाटा वैल्यू ये होगा मीन्स द रिलेशन बिटवीन वाई एंड एक्स Why? 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 All these things we we'll learn later. Then, after that, improve phase and then control phase. These are the steps of the mind. So, as I said, this is a, a hierarchy. A yellow belt at the lowest level. Yellow belt. I would see. Actually, yellow belt is not a belt at all. When I was learning, 2000, I never heard about yellow belt. I am master black belt, black belt in 2006, and uh, 2007 and 8 I am master black belt. It's almost 14 years I am teaching people more than 10,000 professional I have teached. I am one of the early six sigma master black belts. So that time I have not I have done my black belt directly, no green belt also. That is a real learning that very really less people were there. So yellow belt later uh, I started hearing, uh, hearing about yellow belt in somewhere in 2014. So yellow belt is just uh, trained in overall methodology and basic problem solving steps. This is what is yellow belt is. And then green belt real real engines are green belt. Train to understand how to tackle the variation. They are engine of lean six sigma and can tackle 80 percent of all lean six sigma problems. The real people, 
black belts what is the difference between black belt and green belt green belt will also learn a lot of statistics black belt will have more sex knowledge and they are change agents large project leaders technical expert key to the success of overall program now what do you mean by program program means two three related projects a group of projects related project is called a program rather than managing one or two projects you combine two three projects into a program and there are project program portfolio etc so overall program management black belt is also involved master black belt master black belt is always used to be an external person like he was giving the strategic advice to the top management now here you have the top management champion senior leader who is running the show and they are supporting the project support resource they give resource they allow other department etc so all the bottlenecks etc they are removing so this is the basic hierarchy minimum hierarchy of sigma uh, organization uh, thumb rule is at least uh, 25 percentage of it is now more even 30 to 50 percent people should be black belt this is a thumb rule now here almost 5 to 15 percent people should be black belt in any organization which is going for the uh, six sigma implementation this is the thumb rule okay yes is it okay uh so can you go back to the pre- previous slide please yeah yeah yes please any doubt here no sir actually i just need to write down for the, uh, write this down for okay. my report that's what now comes information you should understand about different teams actually in google form i don't have that uh, you know capability to in normally in my training what i do we do it in zoom and in zoom we create breakout rooms so i split the people into different rooms small groups then i talk about this job forming storming knowing etc so bruce techman he has studied about team formation stages in 1965 and then he said that there are four stages of team development the first one is forming second one is storming third one is norming and fourth one is performing so he named it as forming storming norming performing now as you see this in the forming stage you can see the arrows all are a different different direction nobody is in the same direction now whenever a team is formed what happens you can see this in your case also if uh, something is to be done in your organization if they are they are making in a team now there may be four five people in the team now oh, nobody knows it what is the objective why i was put in the team now i need to give some extra time i have already busy in studies now i have to do this also my time is going to be wasted etc these things comes in your mind that is called forming stage of the team team formation and then comes a storming stage after forming what happens now people understand this okay slowly slowly they understand okay this is my job this is objective okay then they started bringing ideas storming brainstorming they started bringing ideas okay somebody will give some idea and all other will oppose it and uh, they will put their ideas still they are not in a same agreement coming and storming then the third stage is when people build each other know each other then they agree that there is team leader explains the rules etc and then there are lot of meetings etc so everyone is clear about roles and responsibility then uh, they all started thinking in one direction and there is a one leader and then come performing stage so this is with any team any team even if a company a software company they are uh, you know developing software lot of time and then there are they have formed a new company new team 
definitely it happens there only thing the difference is the time taken actually it's a new team new team culture in any organization forming and slumming may take lot of time but already there is a culture of team building in your organization then these stages will be taking less time if it is a totally new team new way or like for example and when we were going for a united nations the deputation it happens to us there were around 200 people everybody was thinking about there you know there are a lot of militia attacks in congo we are going for a peace keeping mission etc etc so no all people did not know why we have been put somebody was happy somebody was sad a lot of thing happened this is how it is forming stamming heavens and then the tuckman again in 1977 he did another study about it and then he has added two more stages one one more stage called a journey so he said that journey after performing once the objective is met and uh, they should adjourn it adjourn means to recognize in the people then uh, uh you give recognition you this uh, team will give presentations and it's a lesson learned and then uh, you know uh, giving this lesson to others etc it's called a journey so these are the four stages of team development so normally in my uh, class you know the green belt black belt program i used to split the team into different different uh, breakout rooms and then uh, and you give a small task Pardon? Sir, can you please move to the previous slide? Okay. Hmm. Sir, can you repeat about that adjoining? Adjoining means, see, after team has done its objective. then what happens a final presentation used to happen so in that presentation it will they will give they will show the developments of whatever they have done some of the whatever they have done to other areas so that it can be replicated in other areas and also adjourning is the time where team is getting recognized if you want to give rewards to the team that's the phase where you give rewards to team lesson learned etc sir hmm so but in the stage of dependence or independence what does that mean i mean they just uh, can you just explain that line uh, that stage dependence independent means here they were not in the team now once all these people are informed in a team they are dependent each other for the objective and once team is complete their mission the team is you uh, know uh, disbanded and they will go to their regular job so that's called return to independence again okay this is three stage independence everybody is different and they are doing their operations they all these things are when 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 we are we forming team to do a project isn't it otherwise they are doing their day to day activity a lot of things are there like they what kind of organization is your hybrid organization it is um, of, uh, functional organization etc a lot of things are there uh, you know so project in project as organization people will be doing only projects in functional organization people will be more on operational activities so in the operational activity if you want to do a project in a functional organization if you want to do a project you call people for to make form a team so after doing achieving an objective you dismantle the team right So, we do so, so that's like a start and end of a project. Are like, it? is is that? What? So the journey is like that. They are start forming a team to start a project, and then at the end of the project, they just they do the separate jobs, isn't it? Is that so? Let's imagine your case. In which semester are you in now? Sixth uh, six semester. Sixth semester. Now, just imagine after the semester exams, so you are you are uh, uh, university the college uh, form a team, and then 
they asked the team to conduct a uh, ceremony uh, what do what do you call that um, uh, convocation ceremony what what is that you call convocation 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 uh, convocation ceremony now to conduct a convocation is it a project or not yes sir it, it is yes, a project sir. isn't it why it seems like it has a start and end date now again to do that definitely uh, your college will involve a team isn't it they form a team isn't it not they will pick the people in that team isn't it am i right or not yes sir okay. yes sir now suppose you have uh, uh, 10 people in that team now initially or once the college ask you and uh, make a team initially it will be like this even if you know each other you know all your your friends or suppose suppose let's say imagine that uh, one per, some person from sixth semester and few more people are from fifth semester suppose what will happen you may know the each other but you don't know you have never worked in a team so you are in a forming team you have not done this before suppose you are first time doing this invocation ceremony project now it has been assigned to you now each other they they don't know they know maybe some people may be knowing that five people six semester will be in one group and fifth semester will be in one group isn't it when you meet sit for a meeting all six semester will be sitting in one place and five fifth semester will be sitting in one place right or not so we are in the forming stage that time. you don't know what is objective you are not clear about the process then one or two days it will be like that third day what will happen people will start bringing ideas isn't it okay let's do like this let us call this person as just let's make let's make on the uh, uh, you know uh, keep the convocation ceremony on uh, uh, 31st march likewise you start giving ideas now what will happen one one person will give an give idea other people will oppose it no no 31 march is uh, difficult for us let's keep uh, april 5th so there is an you know Uh, always disagreement so storming stage in the storming stage what will happen people keep bringing the ideas now suppose if your college appoints a team leader and somebody is there a faculty is there to guide you faculty will make clear the rules and you also make some rules slowly 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 you will reach to this stage so suppose it's a project from here to here so up to here at least for 2 3 weeks it will take to come into this norming stage and then when norming stage you all come into an agreement okay uh, the uh, design part somebody is good in design or let him design the all the you know invitations and uh, the stage decoration and all let us let this person do and then uh, uh, invitation part uh, you know sending mails and all this person do let contacting to chief guest uh, these people do and uh, one person is there to overall likewise in the norming stage and finally the day will come where you perform the uh, convocation day and after that what will happen so suppose these are the team members but there may be some two three faculties also along with you so they all will recognize you they will learn tell you okay good job etc and then you will get as a recognition now if you want to To give a presentation how we have planned it etc you can give that so that it's a lesson learned for other next convocation understood so any team whatever project you are taking if you are forming a team this team has to go this stages now what will happen suppose this 10 people they become a team good team now they are given some other project also for example now this again there will not be this much delay because you all know forming stage already done you know each other now only first we'll start again from the storming stage because it's a new project new ideas have to come etc now suppose five people are old people again five people new people came then again this happens forming stage happens but again since you are experienced you may take less time to complete this all stages but knowingly unknowingly this a team has to go through these stages every team will go through this stage so 
player shall we proceed yes sir yes sir so first thing is uh, you know so so this uh, we can you know do it because we cannot split into team so if i am uh, everybody is interested in green belt and all finally i will just uh, give you the uh, green belt uh, program offer to you that time i can explain you everything so this is okay now let's come to the uh, concepts design so let us understand more about define phase so learning six sigma means learning this methodology define measure analyze and flow control so in the each phase we will learn what are the activities that we need to then what are the tools and techniques that we will use in these schemes etc these are the things we are going to learn in this one so uh, is it okay it's almost uh, one and a half hours so shall we go for a break 10 minutes yes sir yes sir so let's come back at uh, 656 it's 646 now and let's come back at 656 okay
Yes, somebody was asking some doubt. I think before leave uh, for the break. Asking, do you like, do we get the recording of the Your voice session? is not clear. Your voice is not clear. Uh, so it's audible now? Uh, better, but not clear too much. Uh, okay, sir. So do we get the uh, recording of the section? Recording is with Himanshu, you know, not with me. Okay, okay. Okay, I think uh, all of you come back. That no, few people have to come back. Is there any doubt so far? Anything you want to ask? Actually, it's not time to ask doubt because many things will be covered, but still, any kind of uh, concept you have doubt or so that I can plan next for next uh, is also. Next Sunday. Sir, I had a very small doubt. Mm -hmm. So you were mentioning about data collection. Like, will uh, will the I mean, engineers also collect the data, or uh, there is separate engineers assigned for collecting data. Because analysis no separate, part, we no separate engineers are assigned for collecting data. If you are involved in one process, it's your responsibility. See, systems have already been made. For data to be collected, etc. Everything is already made system, and the data may be collecting this uh, operator when they do the job, they will be collecting it. Either this data will be in a format of paper, or people will immediately put it in an Excel sheet. So both can happen. Now, industry four, what is happening? I know most of the time all this paper data noting and all is on gone. Many of the time sensor will automatically collect the data and it will be put in the database. Now this data has to be analyzed when a problem comes regularly. So most of the dashboards must have done, but uh, there is no one separate team for collecting data. No, it's done in real time. Uh, most of the time uh, there are check sheets, data collection sheets, etc. done in a uh, you know, operator now, uh, this has a few places it is uh, you know, stored in Excel sheet, but it depends upon the organization. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sir, I just had a small doubt. Like, uh, whenever we are collecting the data and analyzing that, mm -hmm. we will be getting some kinds of results, right? Uh, so on what basis we will be validating our results to the, uh, to the like, up to the mark? So that we can call that we obtain whatever results we obtain are like whatever we wanted. Uh, there should be some kind of validation process, right? So, uh, what criteria defines that validation process? You will learn it in Six Sigma process. Validation statistically, there are certain validations. Design of experiment is there. You know, statistical p value based on that. A lot of things are there. This is what I'm talking about, Six Sigma. Now, uh, when you are uh, using data for your uh, no regular uh, report system, then there is no validation into that. No? Just, just you take a data and put it in a uh, bar graph or in table-wise, you can present it. So we'll be learning some basics of uh, statistics, descriptive statistics, and inferential statistics, just basic. Because that's the only thing in the, in the yellow belt syllabus. Uh, more that will be covered in the green and black belt. But still, I will just try to give you some good concepts of that. No, no problem. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes. So shall we proceed? Yes, sir. 
Good stuff. Visible, screen is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, as I said, learning Six Sigma means learning to do what? Now, a yellow belt cannot do a project. Green belt do a project with the help of a black belt. A black belt is a person who can really do a project, lead a project. So a belt will know what is a project. So as I said, you understood what is project. Project you have understood, isn't it? It is one time, it's a unique thing, it has a start and then there will be a team to do and once the objective is completed, the project is completed. And we also understood Six Sigma projects are process improvement projects. So we, for yellow belt, it's all about understanding the project. But a green belt and black belt know how to identify the project, how to make it in a problem statement, etc. But problem statement is understand now. Now, what is project? In a simple term, project is a problem assigned to a team. Six Sigma project. Okay. So what is problem? The problem is a visible performance deficiency in critical process or product. It can be manufacturing, it can be service. As I said, 9 o'clock is the takeoff time. 11 o'clock it has to come, the aircraft. Now this may have happened one, once. But if it is a regular process that uh, it has never taken off in 9 o'clock, and it's a problem because this problem will, you know, make customer unhappy and uh, over a period of time, your customer will leave you. So it's a problem. Now only a black belt or a green belt can identify it as a problem. Other people cannot identify. That's why Six Sigma people are referred because Six Sigma people know how to identify a problem. Now a problem is a visible performance deficiency in a manufacturing or service problem is also then as opportunity. Now we don't say problem. Problem is actually an opportunity. So there isn't a problem. Actually you are getting an improvement, opportunity for improvement. So most of the time culture, many organizations try to hide problems, but progressive organization realize that it's not actually problem. When you have a problem, that means you have an opportunity to improve. The problem is an opportunity for improvement. Now, Six Sigma projects are quality projects assigned to a specific team. The Six Sigma is project intensive. Companies like GE has done as many as 7,000 Six Sigma projects a year. They save billions of dollars. Billions of dollars through Six Sigma projects. I was in Mumbai like uh, two years back. I was quality jet for this Madison Sumi project, and uh, the chairman, Vivek Chan, he was there in the complete days as a chairman, senior, the top of the owner of the company, sitting there to see the complete projects. Almost 28 teams were there, morning to evening. He sat and seen all the teams. So that's a commitment. And in the final speech, he said that they are growing 60% year on year. Now, how? It is through this, these teams. They are, it's about QQC, quality circle. Now, they have around 2,000 teams. And each team saves around 4 lakh, 4 lakhs in a year. 80 crores saved in a year. If you want to get, save 80 crores, at least 8,000 crore turnover you need to have, minimum. So it's as good as getting an 8,000 crore turnover. So only visionary people can understand, like Jack Welch, Vivek Chan, or Tata. Means these people know the power of this. So it's all about projects. And the top management 
same as uh, make a system where people can take projects and do the projects in team. Even smaller company can complete several hundred projects a year. So problem statement, problem, what is problem? Problem is a repeated and visible performance deficiency in manufacturing, service process, or product. It is referred as a pain area and should be considered as an opportunity for improvement. So then comes the problem statement. Now, please you know, take special care here how to write a problem statement. If you learn how to write a problem statement, this is going to help not only in Six Sigma, but also in your career. See, if you want to uh, want your idea to be presented to others, always try to explain this idea simply. Most of the time, people do not know how to express it. When, what, and impact, three things. So most of the time what happens when you ask, when we ask people what is their problem, they are not able to tell the problem. They tell their pains and uh, most of the time, you uh, know, we, we don't understand this as a problem. Now, every problem should be given in this way. If you have an opportunity or problem, it should be given in this way. That means you have to do some homework for this. For example, if you have a problem and you are presenting this problem for a six sigma project, in the problem statement, you should tell since when it is happening. Now, where do you get this? You get this from the historical data. And then what is a problem in numerical terms? So I guess you can say 20%, 40%, etc. free work and doesn't pay, etc. And then you can say impact. Now impact, money is the best impact. Very easy. So there are two types of language. Top management, understand the language of money. Anything you convert and say in the terms of money, they will be listening it, 100%. If you talk about some five crores, we can save, two crores, we can save. This they will not understand anything else, but this five crore, two crores, they will hundred percent decide. And uh, when you are talking to the people below you, you talk about uh, benefits, benefits, deeds. What is the benefit that you are going to get when you are going to team? Okay, so benefits, all these things they are interested in. What of benefits? What benefit I am going to get? Top management is language of money. So the best way to tell the impact is language is money. Sir? Yes. Sir, how are you changing the slide? No, I'm not changing the slide. It's the same slide. Okay, sir. There's a problem statement. You are seeing this problem statement. Is this slide it is visible to you? Problem statement? Sir, it's 18th slide. Sir, uh, currently, problem statement? currently we can see the 18th slide. Identify improvement opportunity. No, 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 no. I think others, others can see this slide. Same, sir. Statement. Same, sir. No, so sir. No, sir. Same same problem. Sir. You can hear my voice. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Sir, you need to present the whole screen. Otherwise, you cannot see the screen. Wall screen was I presented the wall screen only earlier, but uh, Google gave me a, a message that it is better to. Uh, yes, sir, now your slide is visible. Now, sir, problem. Uh, no, at last, the problem statement was visible. Visible now. Actually, you know, let me see it. And that was really nice. So, Google itself, uh, this itself gave me a message that uh, you share, so you share the windows because, uh, you know, like uh, something C. To avoid an infinity mirror, don't share your entire screen or browser window. Share just a tab or different window instead. So I thought, okay, to improve the visibility, I opted to share on the window. Anyway, now I have shared my entire screen. So now you can see problem statement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now see this. These are the things. It's visible now. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. so three things. When has it occurred? What is the problem in numerical terms? What is the impact of problem in money, etc. Three things. So as I said, top management 
is language of money. If you want to convince the top management, if you try to say language of money or anything related to money, they will under percent listen to you. If you are leader and if you want to get uh, get this out of uh, team something uh, with you, so you better give them good benefits and explain the benefit. Okay, this is what you are going to get after the team and all that stuff. Right. So top management language of money is very very important, <laughs> but all impact you cannot give in the language of money. Wherever possible, you give it. Now, when has it occurred during the six months, etc. So these are the three three things that should be there in a product statement, and then you should not give any blame, blame or solution is not to be given in a product statement. No blame, no solution. Why we say no solution? What is the reason? Sir, it is a problem statement, so it should be defining a problem rather than a solution. And uh, another thing is, must you know why it is a problem? You go and implement the solution. Actually, in Six Sigma, we are doing this project to find out the solution. Now, solution, you know. And why it is a project? Why it is a problem? Go and implement the solution. Okay. Now, solution is to be identified after the data analysis. So that is why in the product statement it is said that no blame, no solution has to be given. So please understand this. This is very very important in your career also. Further, you should try to do this whenever you are going to give any anything in your meeting, etc. Try to involve data. Try to involve money. Don't give just a vague statement. Nobody is going to listen, especially when you are talking to your senior people, very senior people. Always give impact data. Data. This much is you know. Always try to you know and do some homework before you give answer to people. This is very good, very very important fact. Very very important. So learn it now itself. Whenever you go, because. Every everyone top management wants in less time more information. So whenever they we are going to give any information or any suggestion to them, they are going to ask this only. How do you get this? And what is the you know impact of this, etc. They are going to ask this only. So when you give this, there is nothing to ask. Now then they can ask, okay, where did you collect this data? That's all. You can say sir, I have taken this from historical data. So they just wanted to validate that's all. But otherwise, the most information they are seeking, you are giving to them. So always, this is must in Six Sigma problem statement making the problem because the project champion wants to know this. What is the impact, etc. And then project champion may put a cost department people to find out whether this is correct or not, etc. They can validate it. And then. Uh, Examples of bad problem statement. Let's just understand some examples. So somebody gave this problem like payment from our customers are always late because they are dissatisfied with our delivery in delivery due to production delay, etc. Would you say is it a good or bad problem statement? Bad. Why is bad it problem bad? statement? Sir. Solution is given. There is like, a blame as well. Blame. There is a blame. Blame is there, isn't it? Blame and solution is there. Yes, there is no specification of time. Oh, yeah. No data is included. No data is included. Now, if you want to rewrite it, can someone rewrite this? <coughs> Hypothetical. Let's put all these three things. What, when, what, and impact. Just hypothetically, you put it. When is the problem is from? How many from how many? Uh, so months? that just just re rewrite this problem statement by putting all these things. Yes, try to for so the past uh, three months. Ah, that's the three customers months. are. Uh, ah, very good. That's for the past months. three months, forty percent of the customers are not satisfied with our delivery. Ah. Which causes uh, a uh, monthly loss of 20 lakhs. Very good. Dissatisfied uh, with the delivery. Uh, or impacts a monthly loss of. Very good. Monthly loss of. 
thousands of 20 lakh. Very good, very good. Now, one thing is missing here still, but still you have done, try to done it. Do it very good. Yeah? Try to do it. So like the customers, I had also done something. Ah, very good. Yes. So the last three months it is there. When? Now, can you improve this? Uh, sir, I would like to say that actually it cannot be stated as a uh, loss because late or uh, before the hmm. customers are going to pay something. So it cannot be said as loss. Uh, yes, no, I just thought these two parts are correct. I, I, that's why I said we can improve it here. These two lines we need to impact is correct. Impact he has been given and this when these two things he has given correct. It reduces the income of 20 lakhs per month. Pardon? Which reduces the income instead of loss. No, no, we no, can no, no. Just... This is impact. Sir, yes, we can say impact. that. Uh, we can say now, that thirty problem? percent. Can of... you can you just 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 read this and tell me in one word what is a problem? A problem just a pain. What is a pain? In one word, you tell me what is a pain. So the pain is uh, late. rejected. Delaying the payment from the customers is the main yes. problem. Yes. Can you say late payment? Yes. Late payment, sir. Exactly. You know, this is our problem. The problem is this. This is a big problem. You know, once, uh, you know, if you read, uh, if you have a, uh, have a habit of reading book, just read the book called High Performance Entrepreneur by Subrata Bhatti. And this, he has mentioned about one of his experience with us in Prenchi, uh, where uh, Wipro has a big problem. Sundry debtors, people have not paid, and lot of money. Now, Pranji initiated it as a project, and uh, the it was given to uh, Subrata Bhakti. I know it's a big problem, and then they tried to he took it as a project and tried to solve it. So, late payment was a problem. Now. Now quantify this late payment. So our problem is this. Sometimes our problem may be rework. You should know in one line what is the problem that we are solving. And then comes the three, three, three things. Last three months. OK, based on the last three months data. Uh, yes, can you quantify this, someone? Mm. So we can say that seventy percent of the of the customers are and are are dissatisfied. No, we are not talking about dissatisfaction. No? Okay. Why we this is not to be given? Dissatisfaction is not to be given because that is a name. We should just tell seventy percent is right. Good, seventy percent of the customers. So this we can say. Now let's say this. We can let's rewrite it. Uh, let's make it for the last based on based on last uh, let's take six months data six months uh, history uh, 70 percent of payments are late are late so you may also can give late by 35 days something this impact a loss of 20 lakhs per month so we can reduce it maybe 5 lakhs per month or 60 lakhs 60 lakhs per year something like that we can so all three things are there when what is the impact what is the what is your problem numerical problem expressed in numerical term so, now where do you get this data from where you will get this Sir, uh, Actually, I have a doubt. Uh, in this statement, we have uh, written the last six month uh, data. Hmm. So, can we write the loss in the terms of year? Because we have the data of in months. Uh, hmm. We have the data in the unit of months. Hmm. So, can we write the loss in unit no, of years? you can years? write in unit of loss month also. But generally, we express it annual loss. Okay. So, suppose this is only six months data. But we consider that this is a repeated because I have taken from last six months, but it has been following. It's not a new problem, it's an existing problem. 
So based on that, we can say that annual loss is this much. If you continue this problem, this problem annually we are going to lose around 60 lakhs, maybe interest loss, you know, maybe penalty loss, whatever it may be. So that is a different way. Now we will not see, see how you have got it, but when you have access to data, you can make this thing. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So this is a problem. This is a, this is why it is not a good problem statement. Blame and solution is there, and there is no impact, etc. So for the last ten months, seventy percent of our customers are paying their late by thirty five minutes. This impacts our organization with a loss of fifty seven lakhs. So all three things are there. All three things are there. Like uh, last ten months. 70%, 35 days delay, etc. 50 lakhs annually, all three things are. Okay. Suppose you have a, a problem, uh, a data like this, and you want to make a problem, you want to identify here a problem. Can you just tell me in one word what is the problem you are identifying? Is one word. One word problem. Just express the problem in one word. A lot of variation. Inconsistency. In yield. Inconsistency in yield. Rejections. 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 Number of rejections. Inconsistency in total productions. Ani, why do you want to write, give a new name? We have a rejections no? data from the data. We can say rejection. Now, I'm just putting this slide. Is there one minute? If someone can just uh, calculate it, what is the percentage, etc. Can you just do it? Can you make a problem statement? Who can look at the screen and just have a total and then just tell me who can make a problem statement? Except, suppose if I say I give you a in like one person projection will have a cost of five lakhs. Then who can make a problem statement here based on this data? Uh, the rejections are approximately, um, are, are, if I would take the mean rejections, they are approximately 7.5 lakhs. So we can say that the, we can say the problem is, uh, we can say the problem is that it's, it's costing the organization, organization of more than 35 lakhs per, okay. per total production. So how do you, so what are the three things? What are the three things you need to have in the problem statement? Uh, so the first is so the first is quality uh, the quantitative rejection rejections uh, the mean rejection rejection that the company is facing. Uh -huh. Second would be the loss the loss uh, the loss due to each rejections that how much is costing the company. Okay. And the second is uh, and the third is okay and third is like this is the and third is this is uh, this is actually the data of uh, say three months. Very good. Very so good. So well, first thing is this, isn't it when? So based on it is from April to June, isn't April it? April to June. So can I say based on uh, based on three months data? One, uh, four, five, six, three months data, isn't it? Based on three months data. Now, how will you quantify the rejection? So we can take the average or the, or the median. Best is if we, if we take the average. Can we take the percentage? Yes, sir. We can do that. So how will you do the percentage? Uh, so we can calculate the average rejections, the percentage, the average percentage of the of the reductions from 1st of April to 8th of June. Now for that, what you have to do? Sir, average of the total productions, average of the total uh, re uh, rejections, 
and considering the rejections and total production we can find out the average uh, oh, percentage so the best way rejection is you sum this isn't it 132 plus summation of this in excel you will summation you will have a summation here isn't it and this yes, you can sum the rejection also isn't it now this divided by this suppose what is this sir it is around 11.7% so why do you take the sir i got like the percentage you add this how much just add this what is the total rejection 1771 17 11% is being rejected sir this is 1771 yes yes 11% rejection isn't it yes sir how do you get you just add this okay what is that 11 plus 12 plus how much is this how much is 208. this 08 eh? 208. 208. Okay, and this is what is the total of this? 1653. 1600. So it becomes 208 divided by 1653. No, sir, it is 1771. Okay. 1208 divided by 1771. Around 11%. So tell me how will you make the statement and 11% and then you tell me now now you tell me I have given all the all the statements. Okay, so could see. you repeat the amount of money lost for one one percent is five lakhs. One percent is five lakhs. Thank you. Sir. Then tell me now. Yes, sir. Uh, I can say ah. in from the past three months ah. data, ah. eleven percent of rejection is being. Now we can say average rejection is. How much? Average eleven percent. This impacts. This impacts uh, that there is a loss of fifty five lakhs. Fifty five lakhs per annum. Annually. Per month. Per annum. So how simple is this? Isn't it? And what a precise and very good. Now this should be the way you should be expressing your suggestions, your problems. You will get such kind of data. So sometimes, sometimes you may take average also in some cases. But here it is very simple. You know, no need to have average, etc. Straight way you can take the rejection here like this, isn't it? You can take straight like this. Very easily you can calculate all uh, rejection, total rejection, total, total. Should we actually specify the timeline of the timeline of the data like this is uh, like you said that based on the last three months of the uh, last three months of the data so this three months time period can be from and can be anywhere like in anywhere, between anywhere. Year. it can be three years also suppose see it's it can be three years also it all depends you are making the problem statement based on what problem data you made this problem statement is it uh, one three months data is it six months data is it one year data is it so you can say, you can say, okay, I have studied last three years data. This is a trend on an average. Or you can say last one year I have been studying. This is a trend. So this problem is since the last three years. This problem is since last three months. So it's up to you. What is the data that, that you are studying? Sometimes two years back there was no problem, but the problem has started from recently. So you, so you, you, when you are writing the problem statement, you should be very clear. When is this problem occurring? Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is again in uh, green and black hole program. We do it in split, and then we'll give a small uh, thing to identify a problem, and uh, then how to express it in the problem statement etc so let me just give you what are the benefits because today is all about introduction etc and uh, i will also cover uh, let me do one thing let me uh, before going to this let me also introduce uh, tell you about the mission statement now problem statement is one thing problem statement Now, how teams select the project? There is a way. 
now it's not like easy as you think suppose you are in a company where 1000 people are working now there are some 40 teams for example and you are you are, you have you are in one team suppose you are in a team challenger now team name they give down suppose challenger whatever it is you are in this team now this team has a target of identifying doing four projects in a year suppose now how do you select a project now in your team there are 10 people you are working in a production department production line of some formula whatever formula तो आप कैसे आइडेंटिफाई करोगे प्रोजेक्ट को इमेजिन आप लोग एक दस का टीम है और आपको एक प्रोजेक्ट सेलेक्ट करना है कैसे करोगे प्रॉब्लम आइडेंटिफाई करना है कैसे करोगे सर वी कैन लुक अपॉन टू दी मिशन स्टेटमेंट्स एंड अदर लाइक देर आर सम मोटर्स एंड एवरीथिंग ऑफ ऑफ पर्टिकुलर इंडस्ट्री Like if we consider an, an energy or green industry, then in that uh, there might be some uh, parts where this is not followed. Then this would be our, uh, and we can take this as the project statement. Okay, that is your opinion. What about yes, others? Sir, shouldn't the objective? Sir, sir, shouldn't the objective become the problem statement in this case? Ah, ये तो mission statement का point है. नहीं mission statement में ये मैं भी talking about the company. I know you may be talking about that side in there. There are so uh, company strategic mission. You may be talking, okay? But ये तो आपके हैं बाकी दस का क्या होगा opinion? So the best way of selection uh, is brainstorming. You will sit for a meeting, brainstorming. and you will give a task say to be a leader and the leader will give okay we are 10 people every people will bring two problems to kitna problem ho gaya hamare paas problems 20 ab ye possible nahi hai every people to ek bhi problem le aana mushkil hota hai logon ko to 20 ka to chodo to chalo hamare paas 10 problem aa gaya hamare to ye problem you are looking this problem in near process you know what are the problem productivity rework rejection or uh, not to meeting the specification kuch bhi ho sakta hai problem to aapko 10 logon ko ek problem mai abhi aapse puchu aapke problem kya hai samasya mein aapko kya kya problem ho raha hai to university mein kya problem ho raha hai ya fir college mein kya problem ho raha hai to aap kahi sare problems loge mere ko brainstorming karne lage तो यहाँ पे कोई पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम नहीं करना प्रॉब्लम तो वो होना चाहिए आपके रियली जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को इफेक्ट करता है उसी को आप प्रॉब्लम सिलेक्ट करना है ठीक है उसके बाद ये बीस प्रॉब्लम आपके पास लिस्ट आ गया दस प्रॉब्लम आ गया मान लो यू हैव टेन प्रॉब्लम्स इन योर लिस्ट नाउ फ्रॉम द टेन प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट वन इज इन तो उसके लिए क्या करेंगे यू कैन मेक इट टेन प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट में क्या मिलेगा आपको इंपैक्ट मिलेगा सो बेस्ड ऑन द इंपैक्ट यू कैन सेलेक्ट सम थ्री टू फोर ये दस में से उसके बाद फिर सारे टीम का ओपिनियन से वोटिंग से आप एक प्रोजेक्ट सेलेक्ट कर सकते दिस इज आउट इज टाइम क्योंकि इसको सिलेक्शन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है गलत प्रोजेक्ट सेलेक्ट किया तो तीन महीने आपका वेस्ट हो गया एम आई राइट और नॉट तो रिसोर्सेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिसोर्स इज वेस्टेड यूर टाइम एंड एनर्जी इज वेस्टेड सो सेलेक्ट सच ए प्रॉब्लम तो इंपैक्ट में मान लो एक प्रॉब्लम आपका पांच लाख का इंपैक्ट है और एक प्रॉब्लम है आपके सेवेंटी फाइव लैक्स का कौन सा प्रॉब्लम पहले सेलेक्ट करना चाहिए प्रोवाइडेड हमारा स्कोप में है कि ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ प्रॉब्लम इज सेलेक्टेड एक बार प्रॉब्लम सेलेक्ट हो गया 
तो क्या होगा फिर हमें प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट क्लियर हो गया आपको क्या क्या चाहिए फिर हमें चाहिए मिशन स्टेटमेंट अब मिशन स्टेटमेंट में क्या करेंगे क्या क्या होंगे मिशन स्टेटमेंट में ये करेंगे हम लोग टारगेट क्या सपोज हमारा रिवर रिवर क्या था कितना था रिवर कितना परसेंट था इलेवन परसेंट रिजेक्शन रिजेक्शन था ना अभी जो हमने किया रिजेक्शन कितना था तो मान लो इफ यू वांट टू टेक ए प्रोजेक्ट इन रिजेक्शन रिड्यूसिंग रिजेक्शन तो आप टारगेट क्या रखोगे बताओ इफ यू इन द टीम एंड यू वांट टू रिड्यूस रिजेक्शन व्हाट इज द टारगेट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू गिव इज एक्सेप्टेंस इलेवन परसेंट रिजेक्शन में यू वांट टू रिड्यूस इट तो कितना टारगेट रखोगे टेन परसेंट या नाइन परसेंट वन वन परसेंट सर शॉर्ट वेरी गुड वन परसेंट बिकॉज योर टारगेट शुड बी चैलेंजिंग वेरी चैलेंजिंग six sigma projects means we are looking for breakthrough improvement don't keep 10% 9% 8% <laughs> give a very high challenging percentage 0% is not possible don't give like that also but is it challenging why can't point 5 so give a challenging that's the role of black belt so here black belt will always be looking for challenging goals So in the mission statement, we will write the target. Then we also what is the one thing mission statement may target, and we also when what is the time limit? Okay, four months. So we can write and approximate benefit also. We can write uh, mission is to reduce the rejections. From eleven percent to one percent in four months, thereby gaining fifty lakhs. Are you not? So, why problem and mission statement? बिकॉज टीम को ये क्लियर हो गया कि मेरा प्रॉब्लम क्या है हम लोग कौन सा प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करने जा रहे हैं और मिशन क्या है और क्या बेनिफिट है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन उसका सो प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट मिशन स्टेटमेंट आर द टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इन ए प्रोजेक्ट चार्ट डन क्लियर सो मिशन स्टेटमेंट कैन बी डन आफ्टर फर्स्ट थिंग इज प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट आपको आप कहीं बनाओगे कहीं प्रॉब्लम्स होंगे दस प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट है तो दस प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट बनाओगे उसमें से आप एक को सिलेक्ट करोगे जो सिलेक्ट किया उसको हम मिशन स्टेटमेंट बनाए राइट सर गेनिंग और सेविंग सर वॉट इज द डिफरेंस Like means it's we are getting profit. Like that's gaining. Like saving means we are saving. Gain fifty lakhs or like save fifty lakhs. Is profit any much? But if I write fifty lakhs or forty-five lakhs, then it's wrong, isn't it? So you write. Don't go for the grammatical thing. Just go for that. It's up to you. You make any grammar, but don't make fifty, fifty, forty-five. Understood? Yes. Sir. so now just i will just explain you few things today for as an introduction so we will stop today little early and then we can go for because define phase is almost completed now or two more concepts but let us understand what is the value what value that six sigma brings to you certification six sigma and the learning six sigma first thing is leadership now the leadership means not that traditional leadership what you learn the leadership means six sigma leadership so only few of you have 
that courage and say to top management that there is an opportunity for it. Let me tell you, this is not an easy job. Convincing the top management. Whenever you go, look at the opportunities. Always look at the opportunities. You should be always looking for opportunities, trying the data analysis and trying to suggest your, whenever you get top management, do not miss an opportunity to convince him for this, that there is an improvement for opportunity. That means you have to keep on, that is how you grow. Your immediate leaders and all may not be learning Six Sigma, even not be interested. There are a lot of people, but always be with people who are always progressive. You know, there is something called good company. For example, Sachin Tendulkar and Beijing Bhutia. Are they good company? No. Why? No, sir. They play both different of sports. them have a different yeah. field of interest. Even though they are top in their field, they are different field. So always look at the good company. Suppose you have an aim. Suppose you keep an aim to be the topper in your class. So what is your, who should be your good company? Another who is having a good, same vision, isn't it? So whenever you go for a company, let me tell you, there are a lot of people, a lot of politics, a lot of people tell you, yeah, lay with their, there are a lot of people to give you a lot of suggestions, etc. But listen to everyone, take your decision if you want to improve. See, let me tell you, not improving about in one company, forget about it. No company is loyal to you, very true fact. If you are, you have to be, see, it's like this. There are four metrics. If you want to grow, Let me tell you very clear. You have very good skills. There are two people. There are see like like this is high. Now here in this matrix, this is skill. So high skill. But what about show? Low show, isn't it? Show means whatever you do. You should learn the art of showing it to the concerned people. Art of showing it, representing it. So here, you have high skills, but you don't know how to show your skills and how to be in the limelight. Here, low skill and low show off, no use. They are not going to grow. Here, High show off, but low skill. Kuch pada nahi hai, but wo show off ko karta hai. Hota hai log, hai, log. They are the rest, best people. If you have skills, you should learn how to be in the limelight. Not having skills and just not doing it's not enough. Learn the art of coming into the limelight. Learn the art of how this is the world now. That's the world now. Rather, this is. The world is full of these kind of people. Show off, but not no skill. So you need to market yourself. You have to be a salesperson or selling yourself. Don't be, you don't see the thing uh, like uh, this is, I'm telling in my own experience. I'm very bad at marketing myself. So you should know if you have skill, you should also do it. You know, now you are on. New generation, you know how to uh, market in this uh, Instagram and uh, uh, LinkedIn. So keep keep collecting evidence when you are doing a project. That's an evidence. Involved in a project, get skilled. 
whenever you join a company involved in a project take that skill get your skill and then make a heavy resume add all the skills into that and whatever small small things for you achieve market it put it in your social platform you cannot survive without that before going to job itself you have your things ready and be different from others you should have skill and at the same time you should know how to show so leadership skills and then just keep changing your organization you learn one skill and then when you change keep on changing and gain knowledge and have big gains big gains if you have here so you just think you know very good vision here where you want to reach in another 10 year where are you going to where do you want to reach so whatever field if you want to become an entrepreneur even then even then it is required all these things are required entrepreneurs has to give a pitch you are seeing how many of you see that shots shark program all of you see yes sir yes, sir. i know you yes, see sir. the difference yes sir how they are presenting the data you know those who are run, and you just see all the sharks invest in this whoever is having more data and how they present it etc they have and the, all the data everything is required to present it so the value that six sigma brings to you is one is leadership you know six sigma helps you to develop that leadership skills so you are the one who can know the how to improve the opportunity and keep running and leading the team this is actually organizations are looking leaders who can transform their organization and then the value that six sigma brings to you how to solve a problem please read one minute manager one minute manager the one minute manager it is managing things when whoever comes a problem with them he has a solution also so problem solving technique is very very important people wants organization needs people who know how to solve problem that is why you get a six sigma green belt certification 100% you are going to be get the, get the job why because they know that you have learned the, the problem solving technique. problem solving technique is required how to solve a problem and solving the problem is always use of left and right brain the left brain and right brain left is all about logic you need data and right is all about creative creative and logic data is to be uh, done use of both left and right brain so an approach toward how you look the issue or problem solving or this problem using techniques of in techniques so that's also important and then breakthrough improvement i said we are looking for six sigma is looking for breakthrough improvement 5 crore saving 2 crore saving something like that now not like 2 lakh saving and you know, 1 lakh saving etc so we are looking for the breakthrough improvements so six sigma aims for breakthrough improvement then we have scientific thinking culture by is equal to f of x the gist of six sigma the variation is why because of variation next now in measure phase we will learn how to you know uh, use data to represent the y and in analyze phase is all about finding out the relationship between x and y now x may be a discrete data continuous data y may be a discrete and continuous data so for a continuous x and for continuous y which tool you will use for a continuous y and a discrete x which tool you will use and what is a statistical data analysis verification p value hypothesis testing etc of course all this just just uh, you know just an uh, introduction only you will get uh, other for green belt and black belt you will be learning in detail about that these are the things you will get in this uh, the value value of six sigma yes so then we have industry four means in the world for the why you know what is the link between six sigma and industry four etc 
so that's all about uh, this and these are the opportunities for business business process analysts data scientists you are not less than a data scientist lot of data science they techniques are almost 60% data science things are covered then lean manufacturer manufacturing manager engineer these are the areas that you can quality engineer process engineer lot of areas are there opportunities for six sigma trained person and then there are as i said there are two types of certifications most number one is training and certification that is one thing here we have another certification called third party this is the real certification certification an independent third party organization this is only examination people conduct exam training is separate <coughs> this is how things are when they like tmp etc all these things are done so this is a real certificate not a training completion certification and uh, uh, salaries of six sigma is i missed that slide otherwise uh, indeed source was there that was around uh, you know uh, 60000 dollar 80000 dollar for an experienced six sigma professional that is not like just you complete and tomorrow you get that's not there but once you are experienced five years six years only doing projects that's the scope of the uh, salaries etc so that's all for today so uh, now we can open for uh, doubt any more doubt you have we can have doubt clearance yes any doubt so just for reference so just for reference can you suggest some books uh, for six sigma books Yes, from Six Sigma. Yes, so actually, all books of Six Sigma right now you don't have to go for that because uh, no, it is like certified Six Sigma Black Belt Handbook and all. You will not understand anything on that. You can go for the. It's not required. Then you know, for the yellow belt concepts, uh, whatever handouts I have given, already given the handouts. These handouts will be shared to you. I am sure will be sharing that. That handouts are sufficient for right time being. Then later when you are going for uh, green belt, black belt, I will provide that. Uh, no, this um, uh, uh, e-books for that. You know, those who are see, I am this time. I am going to you know offer you something in the last day. If you people are interested, I am going to get you very good uh, you know uh, concession for uh, green belt certification. last day i will share that to you anybody because yeah, i every is... month i conduct uh, this certification program anybody interested that i'll share and then we can that time you are going to get lot of lot of steps ebooks then uh, mini tab so so many things you are going to uh, get it okay thank you so much sir right for okay. giving your precious time thank you thank you thank you sir sir you manchu did time Okay then, shall we stop today? Yes, yes sir. sir. We will stop today. Rushikesh, please stop the recording. Yeah, sir. Will this PPT be shared?